This video is going to be on some uh, new tools that I just purchased. I got these tools in order to use them on a uh, project I'm working on later this week. I'm going to be diagnosing an F-150 with a misfire. So I got these specific tools to utilize in the process of uh, finding out the cause of that misfire. So let's take a look at them and see what, what they are. So this is the first one. Comes in a nice handy case. Keep everything organized. Gauge fell out here. Didn't snap in right. As well as all of these fittings. Uh, looks like they're backwards. Oop. They just didn't secure in very well. And it's got all kinds of fittings here for us. There we go. Yeah, so this one here is a uh, compression gauge. And uh, it's got a nice gauge here. Secures well to the fittings. Got extension tubes. All different types of fittings for different types of uh, spark plugs. So we could use this uh, on uh, small engines as well, like a lawnmower or a weed eater, as well as uh, pretty much any car. So I think this will be handy for us in addition to working on that F-150 and any other projects that we may work on. All right, let's box this up and see which one is next here. This one is a cylinder leak down tester. This one, the fittings are loose as well. But as you can see, we also have multiple different types of fittings for different types of engines. Let's take a look at this setup here. And you got extension tubes as well yeah made out of a nice solid block and uh our leak down tester seems pretty good quality not bad i think this will come in handy as well as on any other future projects that i have to work on there's also more Posing, as you can see here. Parts list. Let's stick that here in the back. There we go. And a nice case to keep everything organized, even though some of these fittings don't really stay in very well. Next up... We have our uh, Ramon's leak detector, smoke machine. So this will help uh, test to see if we have any vacuum leaks anywhere. A little difficult to get this out. Let's see. Let's take a look at this one here. Would be nice to have a uh, little molded case for this as well. So we got uh, some extension tubes. We got a uh, tool for the uh, EVAP systems. It's got a hook to hang it up on the hood. It's got a pretty good amount of uh, hose here. So we can uh, reach pretty far across. Yeah, it looks pretty nice here. It's got a uh, pressure regulator. Plus, we can see here, this one is for testing the uh, pressure on the EVAP systems as well. With a little uh, adjustment gauge here. And uh, I believe there's here on the side a uh, sight class. You can see 
your fluid level here in the back for power. Oh, here's our side class right here. Excuse me. And then this is where our hose connects and our fill up port right here. Also has a uh, looks like here a strap if you want to hold it by hand. And looks like we got a pretty good amount of power cable on this. So I think this is going to be a nice addition to our tools. Let's put this. Put our hoses back. Yeah, it definitely would have been nice to have a case for this. You might have to figure something out. this back up. Oop. Not as easy to keep it organized. Oh, I forgot these foam inserts. something like that oh yeah that's not working I wonder if I put this in wrong Let's move these cables back out of the way. Yeah, I'm telling you, they need a they need a case for these. Yeah, there you go. Set that like that. I guess something like this. And there we go. And back in the box. Yeah, I didn't want to fit back in the box now. There we go. Okay, that was a battle. Get it boxed up. <laughs> okay, next are some of the smaller th items. I got here a uh, stethoscope. That way we can uh, listen to the engine a little better. It even has an extension here if you want to get down 
deeper into the engine. This will be good for listening to things like the fuel injectors. You can hear them up close. That little tip is coming off. There we go. Doesn't really screw tight. Okay, put this one back in. Try and keep uh, these things as organized as possible. Yeah, there we go. And the little extension rod there. We'll put that over here. Next up here is I got this uh, spark tester for a uh, coil on plug system. One of the in the reviews they were talking about how this screw is a little bit loose, but doesn't seem to be. Let's bake it out all the way. Yeah, it's still pretty tight. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have any looseness in it. The one thing I wish was a little bit better was here in the markings. They're a little bit hard to see, but there's nothing a uh, little bit of uh, paint can't solve. Next up here is, uh, I bought this one using on the Mustang. Uh, I don't believe that I can use it on some of the newer vehicles, but on some older vehicles that I may work on is a remote trigger. Make it a little bit easier to uh, start the engine while you're working in the engine bay. Turn it over for compression tests, stuff like that. So it seems to have a good grip on it. Trigger seems to be good. And I think we got enough cable here to reach anything. So those are all of the tools that I'm going to be using. And last but not least, I got this Daytona 3-ton low-profile rapid pump jack. Um, it's going to be helpful for working on some trucks um, because a little... Two-ton jack that I've been using when we're working on the Mustang just ain't going to cut it. It makes it hard to get some of the uh, trucks up in the air. I have to use wooden blocks, and uh, it's just doesn't have enough power to get them up there. So I think this will help us out a whole lot. And uh, I'm going to make another video on this one as well when we open it up and uh, we can uh, check out the build quality as well as uh, see how fast it uh, pumps up. So look forward to the next video. I'll be working on that F-150.